Well, the bill to ban assault weapons cleared the Senate 27 to 21. Senate Majority Leader Andy Billig of Spokane voted in favor, but Senate Senator Mike Patton of Spokane Valley voted against it. If it reaches Governor Jay Inslee's desk, he will sign it into law, but it's not quite there yet. In its floor debate on House Bill 1240, more than 20 amendments came forward, but only a few passed. The one thing that I see that lacks in this legislation today is bipartisanship to solve the problem. There's literally no place we can go right now where you're not at risk of a mass shooting. The bill must now head to the House for a vote to approve the final language. If it passes, Governor Jay Inslee will sign the bill into law. Spokane Gun Shop and indoor shooting range owner Jeremy Ball isn't surprised by the bill's progress, considering it has support from the Democratic majority. We're essentially taking the, the really easy way out here in trying to restrict people's rights instead of solve a problem. To be clear, the bill does not prohibit the possession of assault weapons, but it does prohibit transferring them. One amendment from the Senate allows for gun manufacturers to sell inventory already in stock prior to January 1st, 2023, and only to out-of-state clientele for 90 days after the bill goes into effect. Representative Marcus Riccelli offered a similar amendment in the House, but it wasn't considered. Still, it passed in the Senate. The amendment doesn't apply to exempt manufacturers, and Ball says it does nothing for small businesses. Big box stores are going to take these guns and they're going to interstore transfer them to other locations. And then the small dealers like ourselves who have a single store location are the ones that don't have the clientele reach outside the state and, and thus will end up stuck with all these guns. The 2023 legislative session is scheduled to adjourn in two weeks and the earliest this bill could get a House vote is Thursday. Now, we do know there are advocates against this ban who plan to take legal action if House Bill 1240 becomes law. Meantime, we'll continue tracking the bill's progression. Amanda Rowley, Crime 2 News.